Defense Secretary Sir Michael Fallon has apologized for repeatedly touching a radio host's knee until she threatened to punch him in the face. Mr. Fallon has been revealed as the MP who made the gesture to journalist Julia Hartley Brewer during a Conservative Party conference in 2002. The revelation is the latest incident to follow allegations of sexual harassment with a spreadsheet of shame naming six cabinet ministers accused of various levels of sexual impropriety circulating in Westminster. Mr. Fallon has admitted he was the MP responsible despite Ms. Hartley Brewer previously refusing to name the men involved. A close friend of Sir Michael, a married father of two, said, Julie is a good friend of Michael's. He overstepped the mark. She made it clear it was unwelcome and he rightly apologized 15 years ago. A hit list of 36 sitting Conservative MPs branded sex pests including two serving cabinet members has emerged in a secret spreadsheet of shame leaked at Westminster. One was said to be handsy with women, another paid a woman to be quiet while a former Tory minister was said to have propositioned his secretary by asking her to come and feel the length of my sea. Yesterday Miss Hartley Brewer, 49, said she was contacted by journalists about the incident in the wake of water claims of sexual misconduct, but said she regarded it as mildly amusing. Comparing her experience of a misjudged sexual overture to serious harassment or assault was absurd and wrong, she argued. In a statement on Twitter she wrote, while rumors and claims are circulating about many male MPs at Westminster in a media feeding frenzy. I have worked in and around Westminster for 20 years and, as far as I am aware, incidents of genuine harassment involve only a small number of MPs from all parties. I believe it is absurd and wrong to treat workplace banter and flirting, and even misjudged sexual overtures, between consenting adults as being morally equivalent to serious sexual harassment or assault. It demeans genuine victims of real offenses. Anyone with any allegations should speak up now and provide the evidence to ensure any necessary action is taken. She added, I have not been a victim and I do not wish to take part in what I believe has now become a Westminster witch hunt. Miss Hartley Brewer said the minister repeatedly put his hand on my knee during a party conference dinner I calmly and politely explained to him that, if he did it again, I would punch him in the face. He withdrew his hand I have had no issues since with the men and do not regard the incident as anything but mildly amusing, which is why I have declined to name him. In the Sunday Express in 2009 she described how he had propositioned her. She wrote, he was, he told me, a firm believer in the long-standing Westminster rule of party conferences don't count. I was, I told him, a firm believer in not going to bed with other women's husbands. Last night, after Sir Michael had been named, Miss Hartley Brewer tweeted, Sigh. This incident happened in 2002. No one was remotely upset or distressed by it. It came as Theresa May was warned she risked sparking a Westminster witch hunt after ministers were told they could be sacked for making staff feel uncomfortable. The Prime Minister ordered a crackdown on parliamentary sex pests after the latest Westminster slea scandal threatened to spiral out of control. Sir Michael was one of six cabinet ministers named in a dirty dossier compiled by Tory activists, according to The Sun. A spokesman for the defence secretary said he had apologised when the incident happened 15 years ago, and that both he and Miss Hartley Brewer considered the matter closed. The incident is believed to have happened at a Tory party conference. Miss Hartley Brewer said last night she did not see herself as a victim. Commons leader Andrea Letsom said yesterday Tory MPs faced being suspended from the party if unwanted sexual comments or advances were found to have made junior staff feel uncomfortable. Mrs Letsom, speaking with Mrs May at her side, said ministers caught up in the scandal could be fired from ministerial office and the threshold for action would be behaviour significantly below criminal activity. New proposals including an independent grievance procedure and training for MPs on how to treat their staff, would be brought forward within days. But the proposals spark unease. One female Tory MP called for perspective, while a female Tory peer warned of creating an atmosphere that might encourage false allegations. Mrs May with urged to investigate a secret dossier naming 36 Tory MPs as sex pests. Yesterday's crackdown followed a string of allegations that senior MPs, including members of the cabinet, have sexually harassed junior colleagues over many years. Tory MP Nadine Doris said it was right to draw up a proper legal basis for dealing with complaints. 
But she added, we need to keep a perspective on this. Mediocre men behaving badly hold good women back in many workplaces across the UK, not just in Westminster. We need action in terms of separating the historic and legal behavior between consenting adults, from that which has serious grounds for complaint. My guess is, that may boil down to very little. Otherwise, it turns into a witch hunt which benefits no one. And Baroness Jenkin warned against creating an atmosphere that encouraged false allegations. Senior parliamentary figures have met to discuss ways for victims of sexual assault to speak up without fear. The move came after Mrs May called for a new independent helpline to deal with complaints. Common Speaker John Burko also called for change in Parliament amid what he described as disturbing allegations. Mrs May has been stung by claims she ignored evidence of sexual harassment because the information was useful to Tory whips. Thanks for watching video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the mix if you enjoy it.